Hi Capricorn, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back my Cyber Angels thank you very much for your likes and your shares this is your reading for the 20th to the 26th of July 2020 and we have gone into the time of Leo and that means fire, passion, logic creativity and passion so it's going to be a time that we can be really busy and let our passion go wild and our creativity especially because it's summer holidays so we will be doing a lot of things hopefully that we love now if you are a new viewer then please subscribe and hit the bell on all and you'll be notified when I go live on Monday welcome to the channel by the way on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by a donation. The donation in the live sessions are super chats and super stickers. If you would like to have an extensive reading with me then the information to get into contact with me is below this video in the description box or in the top right hand corner in that white circle with the eye. If you click on that then you'll get to see a picture and click on the picture then it will take you to my website and there you will see all the readings that are available to you and um, I'll be happy and, and pleased and honored to uh, give you a personal extensive reading there will be a new reading and that is the crystal ball and the crystal as it says crystal ball reading is also with cards afterwards to clarify uh, just to make sure that what has been seen in the crystal ball can ver be verified with the cards on monday the 20th you've got the six of pentacles you might be, uh, if you are less fortunate, you might be seeking a helping hand or listening ear or you might be getting a gift from somebody that's more fortunate than you. And this is my give and take card and share and share alike because uh, perhaps it's your turn now that you're more fortunate and that you're giving somebody a helping hand or a gift or a listening ear that is less fortunate. So Capricorn, um, this can be uh, giving something back that you have received in the past. There's a lot of, there could be a lot of people pulling at you today for some reason or a rather. On Wednesday you have the Devil card. Unfortunately you are represented by the Devil in the Tarot. So you could be in your ultimate ultimate power and what I mean is that you feel so fortunate with what you have and what you've got okay um, um, because you are in your power because this card is saying hey this is uh, Capricorn's reading and so it's highlighting this reading that you are an awesome person and that you are in your power and you're stronger than you realize the devil is a very strong willed person and not necessarily a good person I'm not saying that you're not good <laughs> it's just highlighting the fact that this is the card of Capricorn but there could be Capricorn somebody around you that is um, strong and dominant and um, a bit devilish you know not very nice being manipulative or being demanding your attention all the time so be careful of somebody always coming around can I have this can I have that can can you give me a hand can you give me a listening ear can I moan well they won't say moan but that is what how it feels like if somebody keeps on coming back and usually is the same people or person they might have an issue with substances uh, a bad habit or an addiction okay or they could um, yeah I'm getting uh, I'm, I'm hearing uh, something here and it says they are shopping mad they are shopping mad they've got a hole in their hand perhaps there's somebody pulling at you to give 
ask you money or a loan. Be careful. That could be a bad habit as well. That people are always um, the same people that ask money or loans can never return them nine times out of ten. Otherwise, they wouldn't be coming to you that often to ask for a loan or a helping hand. It's usually the same people. So don't let other people be the devil and push you around and keep on asking you for your attention. <coughs> uh, I've got a feeling here that you are being used as a backbone. Somebody else wants you to do the work. That is what I'm trying to say. Make sure that when people come and ask for your help or a loan, um, that you will get it back. Be careful. Some people have bad habits. Do you see what I mean? These could, these people could be the devil. They have the habit of spending money and not saving it. Okay. But you are in your power and you are claiming this reading as you are being represented by the tarot card, the devil. She's quite pretty actually and she looks quite strong. and also very determined. So be careful of domineering people and people with bad habits. Walk away from it. Walk away from it. If it's if it's once or twice that somebody asks for a helping hand or some money, then okay. But if they keep on coming back and pulling at you, then walk away. Don't that could be your bad habit that you are always giving and giving and never saying stop learn to say no okay to those that are always pulling at you think of yourself as well that could be a bad habit as well if you give give too much and never receive it's also like the that saying love yourself first before you love another because you can't take care of yourself and then you can take care of others on friday though you have the nine of pentacles so there will be money coming towards you. If you haven't got a job, then now all of a sudden you might receive a job or you might receive pr a promotion or you might receive a gift from somebody. Okay. You're go there's an end of a period. You're going into a better period, whether it's financial or emotional it doesn't matter you've also got the Queen of Cups at the weekend so perhaps you might meet a Scorpio but don't exclude Pisces or Cancer either but the Queen is re or does represent Scorpio okay so you might meet a Scorpio this is an, a, a person that's loving passionate, nurturing, caring, sens sensual and sexy and she might say right come on you're always giving away so there might be somebody that's giving you money and at the end of the week you will be receiving money from somebody else perhaps you've been waiting on a tax return or a promotion or a job and in the weekend you might be spending a uh, time with a, uh, a Scorpio or a Cancer or a Pisces and um, doing something together. This could be your best friend. Okay. Or if you're not meeting up with a water sign, the Queen of Cups, then you might be nurturing yourself and taking time out for yourself. Well done. Now you've got the money to do that. Wow, it's perfect timing for that to take care of yourself it always is you have to tickle yourself sometimes and love yourself and nurture yourself so that you can become like a queen you will feel like a queen again every time I go to the hairdresser and have my hair done I feel like the Duchess or the Queen in that matter okay now the mystical oracle uh, card is the rainbow wow and the rainbow for me means that 
the, my ancestors are with me my for example my parents because they've passed over that heaven and earth are connected that is a sign for me that somebody up there is with me and watching over me you've got number 41 which is a five so you might feel a bit out of whack because you've stepped away from a bad habit and if it isn't you from you've stepped away from somebody that has a bad habit you are in your power well done you're taking care of yourself number one the rainbow symbolizes the seven steps of a true spiritual path which manifests as the colors of the seven chakras in the Himalayas the rainbow body is seen as a full realization of our essence the rainbow also represents the bridge between the physical and the spiritual worlds what did I say that's what it meant to me wow and now I find it back in a book at the end of our lives we can journey across the rainbow bridge to the highest heavenly realms when the rainbow appears it is an affirmation that all is well and that you are in the right relationship with spirit Oh, that's so beautiful. Well, my, I never thought of it that way for humans, but I, I always have thought of the rainbow bridge f as dogs crossing the bridge. That's when my dog passed away three, two, three years ago. Um, then I just sort of imagined her walking across the bridge, and sh I know she's waiting on the other side for me. She's beautiful my Jess. Okay, never mind. I know she's in a good place and I know I will see her one day. So if you, perhaps this is a, a message for somebody. The rainbow bridge meeting your fur babies again. Okay. <sighs> um, the invitation or the suggestion for this card, the rainbow tells you that the end of the storm is near nine nine is an ending persevere and remember that it is the darkest just before the dawn do not give up hope things are about to take a positive turn listen to the morning rooster that announces the coming of the dawn even while the night is still dark and darkest but do not claim victory yet or let your guard down fully so if you walk away from somebody that's manipulative or has bad habits don't give up you're strong enough to carry on on your own path Capricorn you are strong definitely okay don't give up you're nearly there the end is here it will only be just where there's an ending there will be a new beginning I love this it's perfect timing for that for a new beginning for all of us the life goes up and down and we always are glad when we finished our projects or something and we're going on to the new so let go of the old and go into the new with a beautiful uh, knowledge of the heaven and earth is with you the rainbow is yours happy happy times great stuff okay Capricorn I hope you enjoyed this reading take care and enjoy your week stay safe and if you are going to celebrate something then make sure you do it with ease okay take care and be blessed please share and like love you all thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and i'll see you in the life monday wednesday or friday ciao ciao